guys, Zizu Natural here. Today we are gonna talk about lipsticks and lip glosses. We're moving into the fall, so people's color palettes are changing. We're going from more bright, bold colors to kind of more subdued oranges and browns. You know, I love yellow. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors ever. Uh, I don't wear yellow lipstick, but of course the browns and the oranges go well with it. So I have a few lipsticks I want to show you as well as lip glosses. Some of them you've seen before in some of my favorite videos, some of them you have never seen. And so I want to share with you guys what my favorites are. I tried to narrow it down to five. That did not happen. Listen guys, I know it does not sound that serious, but you do not know how hard it was for me to narrow down my lipsticks to my favorites because I love them all. I do. Like if they're in my lipstick bag, that means I wear them and I love them. And so I did manage to narrow them down to, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not bad, that's close to five, right? Five just seems like a nice number for my five faves. But we're gonna have my seven faves because that's what I have for you. So instead of putting all the lipsticks on as I talk about them, what I'm gonna do is keep this lipstick on, which is the first one I'm gonna be talking about uh, throughout the duration of the video. I will show you the color. I will swatch it on my hand so you can see it. But then at the end, I'll insert a clip with me wearing all of the lipsticks so you can see the name and the brand and what it looks like on me. I think that'll be a better, a better way to do this. So the first lipstick I have is this one. Oh my gosh, do you see that packaging? How cute is that? It's like a pink metallic with studs on it. How girly. I'm not very girly, but I love girly things. So like I do. absolutely love this packaging. It is Laws of Nature. And one of the things I love about Laws of Nature is a lot of times it is harder for us brown girls, whether you're light brown, caramel, chocolate, ebony, to find things that work for us so that's foundations and other makeup so it's wonderful to have a company that caters towards that of course if you're not a brown girl it doesn't mean that she doesn't have something for you it just means that we have a place to go as well because all of the mainstream brands seem to not cater towards and there's a lot of different complexions out there and we all want to just wear makeup and look pretty, right? We wanna look pretty too. Not that we don't look pretty without makeup, but for those of us that are into makeup. So this color is toffee, right? That's toffee. Can you even see that? Yes, toffee. And so this color is gorgeous. It's the color that I'm wearing now. It is a brown color, but it kind of has like a metallic bronziness to it which I love so I like brown colors when I'm not really wanting to put on like a real pop of color on my lips so most of the time I'm wearing either a nude lip or kind of a brown color most of the time uh, if it's if I'm really trying to get jazzy and really super cute and like I've done my hair and everything which I just haven't been doing lately like I throw the sand on and I'm going but if I do my hair and I have super cute outfit on I may put more color on my lips but in general I'm going with brown, I'm going with nude. And so this is like a kick up from nude if I wanna just be like, okay, I'm here, look, my lips look nice. This is a brown with a metallic. It is just so nice, toffee. And let me swatch it for you guys. I hope you can see it. There it is, uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's it on my lips. It's just so pretty, I love it. So this is my first favorite for the fall. And uh, that's Toffee by Laws of Nature. So next up, we have Laws of Nature again. And now you're like, two Laws of Nature? Oh my gosh. Well, I love them both. So they both had to make it to the video. And when I was narrowing things down, I was like, do I really need two of the same maker and brand? Well, if I love it, then yeah, I do. I do need two. So this is, okay. You guys don't know how much I don't know if you remember, Lupita Nyong'o had a cover of a magazine, and I don't remember which one it was, maybe Vogue, maybe L, I don't know, I don't remember, but she had this orange lipstick on, and I thought, I have to have that lipstick, because I love Lupita Nyong'o, like, love her, love her, love her, and then the orange lipstick, now, she's a little darker than me, so of course the orange lipstick is gonna look a lot different than it looks on her, than it does on me, but, um, it was just so gorgeous and I was like, I need that lipstick. Of course, it probably was not a green beauty lipstick. It probably was like your traditional Revlon or whatever, which I don't do. But um, I got this. This is Vixen. Oh my gosh. So 
When I got this, I was so excited because I opened it up and lo and behold, we had an orange color. Now it's not as bright as the color that, I cannot talk, color, and extra letters, color that Lupita had on, but you just wait until I show you the next one and together it's just like pow. It is gorgeous. So I do love this by itself, but I also couple it with another, oh, so gorgeous. I have the Lupita lips going on, okay? So this is Vixen. It's a kind of a pumpkin-y orange with a little hint of red because it's a little darker, but um, it's very fall. It's very gorgeous. It's very beautiful. I love it. And I hope you can see it on my hands. That's it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. Don't worry. If you can't see it, you're going to see it later on my lips. So what I love about her lipsticks are they are moisturizing. Uh, they last for as long as lipsticks last. Like, of course, lipsticks don't last all day. We eat, we talk, and you look and you don't have anything on. So I just reapply it. But um, I love it. It's gorgeous. So this is Vixen, also by Laws of Nature. Just a beautiful, beautiful color, especially on my complexion. If you are my complexion, you should run and go get this now because, and you like orange lipstick, of course. If you don't, then don't. But um, if you've been looking for an orange lip slick, lip slick, lip slick, that's what they should be called, lip slicks. Uh, lipstick like I have been, this is going to be it. Vixen laws of nature okay love the it. third one is also laws of nature i know you guys are like you guys are tripping is she paying you no she's not i just love this stuff i do and when i love something i got to tell you guys about it because if it's the bomb i have to let you know so i'm letting you know so this is laws of nature cosmetics once again this is her instant karma mineral lip glaze okay so now the first two uh we kind of ran into each other she's you know, in Houston, and it was kind of random, and we started talking, and it's like, oh my gosh, your laws of nature, I'm Zuzu Natural, this is that. So anyway, she sent me some things to try out, as well as some samples of foundation, and so I did get these two uh, from her, but this one I paid for. I went back because I was like, I love her stuff, I'm going to pay for some stuff, plus I like to support the indie brands because the big businesses don't necessarily need our support the way the indie brands do. And also the indie brands just, they seem to be so much more passionate about green beauty and uh, providing cosmetics and makeup, skincare that have those wonderful ingredients that we, all the green beauty enthusiasts are looking for. And so she does that. This is Tangerine. Okay, so I was telling you about the Vixen lipstick. This is a Tangerine lip gloss. So between the Vixen lipstick and this tangerine, oh, I still have the Vixen there. Okay, I meant to wipe that off, but you can see it next to it. Look at that. So that is on the bottom. That's the tangerine. That's the Vixen. I take the Vixen and then I pop it up with a little tangerine and I have straight up Lupita lips. I'm telling you, I have that color that she had on the front of that magazine that I have been looking for for over a year. This is gorgeous. Laws of Nature Tangerine Lip Gloss. Okay, next up, the next two colors I have are gonna be nude colors. So like I told you, I wear nudes pretty much all the time, all throughout the year. I like the subdued look of a nude, especially with my eye makeup. So as you can see, I do, can you see? Mm -hmm. I do gold eyeshadows, I love gold. And then I do very heavy um, Egyptian eyes, right? So I do very heavy winged eyeliner on the top. And so I like to just do a light lip because I don't want to look like I have way too much makeup on. Like I don't like that look. I like to just have like a, kind of natural obviously winged eyeliner is not natural but kind of natural look so this right here this is Burt's Bees okay and this is Bombshell I got this in my goodie box good being box last month or the month before or maybe my petty bore box who knows go check them out it's in one of them and this is the most beautiful nude Ever. So a lot of times nudes are just too ashy on me because there's different types of nudes, right? There's not just one nude, right? A brown nude is obviously going to be different than a fairer skin nude versus a chocolate chocolate 
ebony girl nude. So you have to have different types of nude. So although this isn't call nude, which I find anything that is call nude is not going to work for me. Like I get so excited because I'm like, oh, I want nude. I need nude. And then I put it on like, I just look ashy. You guys remember um, Tyrone Biggums from... Dave Chappelle, that's what it makes me look like. And it's not cute. I don't want to look like that. So this is Bombshell. And Bombshell is a really nice, uh, that's it. That's it. It's like a peachy pink with a hint of brown, which is just the perfect nude for a brown girl. And um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but you will see it when I put it on. But that's it. That's it right there. And it's, I mean, it really is nude. You can really... You could hardly see it. It just has the kind of a peachy kind of brown look, for lack of better words. And that's it. That's Bombshell. I like this. So this is from their line that is, they boast about it being kind of like a hybrid between a lip balm and a lipstick. It's like the best of both worlds. And I do find that it is. If that is the case. This is one of my most hydrating lipsticks because it really does feel like a lip balm on your lips, except for you get the color of a lipstick, which is nice. And it's not really like um, the tinted lip balms because to me, they don't really have much color. This really is lipstick with the texture and feel of a lip balm. It's great. This is Honeybee Gardens, in case I didn't mention that. Honeybee Gardens Bombshell. Love it. Next up, we have my Black Minerals Cosmetics. You guys have heard me talk about this on so many occasions. I even did a, did a video, so I'll drop that in the links below just in case you want to check that out. And I do, I show you all the colors that I have from them. But this one right here is Casablanca, and this is my absolute favorite. So this is their nude uh, color, and this, very similar to the bombshell that I just showed you, has kind of like that pinky peachish, but with a little hint of brown, which makes it not look ashy. It's just so gorgeous, and if I want a shiny nude, I go for this. Sometimes I want a more matte look, sometimes I want a more shiny color. And so if I want shiny, and I do like shiny lips, I go for this. So that's that bombshell I'm just gonna put it underneath it so you can see and that's that's it oh look how pretty that is can you see it it's just so pretty and of course it's a nude so it's not really gonna jump off at you uh, but it's it's kind of sheer but it does cover the lips and it's shiny and it's just so pretty this is just absolutely one of my favorites and has been one of my favorites since the moment i put it on like the moment i opened the box the moment i got it the moment i put it on i was like yes this is it so this is casablanca by black minerals b-l-a-c and i just adore this color adore okay the next color i have is also by black minerals and this is a fuchsia color and so a lot of times we think of pinks and fuchsias and red colors for the summer but obviously you can wear fuchsia all year round especially if you have like i really find that if i'm wearing like navy fuchsia looks so pretty on it so this is the color martinique and this is just another really pretty color I don't wear this as often as I wear the others, but when I want a pink or a fuchsia, this is one of my go-to. I have two go-tos, and the last one is my other go-to. But if I want a pink or fuchsia gloss, then I go for this. And it's really pretty. And put it on there so you can see. That's it right there. It's a nice fuchsia pink with like a hint of purple but not too purple purple lipstick does not look good on me i have tried it i like it on other people it's just a no for me i need a lot more pink for it to look good and this has that pink with just a hint of purple it's really really pretty and that is martinique by black minerals love this love this love this okay my last one but certainly not least is also a fuchsia color and this is by red apple lips and i did a swatch video for red apple lips way 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 back at the beginning of the year and i think i also showed you my favorites from them well this has made its way to the top of the list so i think originally i like second date but now back to the fuchsia love that name back to the fuchsia is my number one color from red apple lipstick 
I love it. So Red Apple Lipstick is really moisturizing. That's one of the things that I do love. Now with all of my lipsticks and even my lip glosses, I put down a lip balm first just because I don't wanna dry my lips out. I like my lips to feel like moist and supple. No one wants dry, cracked, ashy lips, including myself. So this is Back to the Fuchsia. Back to the Fuchsia is a fuchsia color. Uh, so it's pink with a hint of purple, but not too much purple and i'm going to swatch it and actually i'll swatch it right over the martinique just so you can see the difference they're very similar except for this is a lipstick it does have a hint of metallic okay so that's it right there so you can see it's a little different it doesn't have as much pink as the martinique uh but it does have that pink and purple blend that just goes so beautiful with so many complexions and that's it right there back to the future just gorgeous love it red apple lips so those are my fall faves uh, those are my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses i hope that you enjoyed watching and i hope you like the colors uh if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy it go ahead and hit that thumbs up appreciate it in advance uh like comment subscribe share uh, if you've tried any of these lipsticks lip colors lip i got nothing Okay, let's start over. If you've tried any of these lipsticks or lip glosses, let me know in the comments uh, if you've tried any of the brands, but maybe not these colors. Also drop that in the comments. Let me know what your favorites are. Uh, let me know which ones you love, like, which ones you don't love, which ones you don't like. And um, until next time, peace out. And of course, I am going to insert the clip of me wearing all of the lipsticks and lip glosses, not at once, separately. And uh, so stay tuned.